So I wanted to do a quick little video explaining some things about rooms because a lot of people have questions on what you should be building on certain cards or whatever. Um, and then some people just tend to be confused about it. So I wanted to show something real quick. Somebody was asking me mainly, it was somebody in my village asked me about Sage Kabuto. So I wanted to show what I was actually trying to explain to him, which the way that I like to build my characters and maximize certain runes on certain characters, like Sage Kabuto, if you look at his HP equipment, um, he maximizes armor. So you get that plus 22% on armor. So of course you're going to put more armor on him because he takes advantage of that. And then durability as well. So since he has... I'm not a big fan of durability, but I'm a bigger fan of armor. But let's say um, if you put... you, I barely, Basically, I, I know that I, I can get away with just putting one durability room on him. And then because he, max, he, you know, he amplifies that plus 22%, then my room automatically takes effect so then I can actually dump more into into his armor rooms right um, since he doesn't have any dodge scaling one like most attackers do then I go ahead and I can substitute you know put an extra dodge room in there or something or um, HP or whatever you want to put on him um, and the last one his actual attack um, equipment amplifies his crit chance by 22% so if you put one rune on him, like I usually like I find it that when they have one crit chance equipment like this, I only use one crit rune anyways. And crit is kind of overrated because a lot of people end up getting durability anyway, so it's really hard to crit and it's also one of those stats that is not really reliable for me. I've kind of come to find that out because I actually used to, you know, have two crit runes on everyone. And then I just gave up on that idea, and I started actually for all my attacking ninjas. I just favored Sunder. Sunder is just a whole lot better because it actually helps with you know cards like Kabuto. They get really super tanky, and it's good to be able to do that extra damage at the higher level of play. Um, so let's go into my runes. This is what I have on my Kabuto. Um, I do have all level six runes, and basically this is all level six runes. Minim, like minimum all level 6 runes across the board on all my characters um, but I like to see if you notice I have two armor runes on these two top ones um, I put three HP runes on him because I just happen to have spare HP runes and I don't have any crit runes right now or any extra crit runes I did give him one crit because you know the healing factor helps a lot um, with the composition that I'm running and I sometimes need him to crit heal you know, for that double that double heal because it's actually really nice sometimes when you're about to die. Um, it's actually saved me quite a few times. Um, on him, I have one durability and then I have two dodge rooms on him because I don't want him to die. He's actually very like very useful for your team. I'd rather have my um, Sage of the Six Pass, my Hagoromo, to die first than before him um, because he always heals. He never like Hagoromo. Um, the issue that I have with him is that he attacks every, you know, his active is an attack. So right when you start off the battle, he's going to attack instead of heal. So you kind of have to put him in the front anyways, which a lot, some of us don't do, some of us do, but I don't. Um, so I really choose not to put him in the front, but I like Kabuto to heal. And that's the thing about having like running healers on your team is because you need the heal. The heal actually helps you a lot, and sometimes you're like, you know, you ever get into that battle and you're like, oh, my Hagoromo, you know, he attacked instead of healed for that one round, but if he would have healed, you know, it would have been nice. So that's why I'd, I'd rather have Cobble 2 safer than anybody. Um, but on WCC, I do have the mind body, you know, you know, so I'm running three healers right now. Um, when you go to Hagoromo, since he maximizes, you know, durability and his heal so for his heal actually it's actually really nice because he usually never dies because if he gets healed he gets healed for a lot you know a lot more than most other people do and of course i you know i have one accuracy on him because otherwise his active wouldn't work on anyone he would actually just miss and sunder to be able to do some kind of damage i run no crit on him because i really don't need the crit on him um I, you know like i said like you can you can use the fact that the equipment gives you crit, it gives you durability, and it gives you heal. So I just give him some armor, 
you know, and I think I gave him two armor and two dodge. So I'm actually favoring dodge right now because dodge is one of the stats that you really need for this deity challenge, for the god challenge, to be able to beat Kaguya. And that was one of the things I was finally able to do. But it's, like I said, I've had to dump a lot of, you know, a lot of resources into my runes, unfortunately. Um, as far as my, right now, I'm running Shikamaru and then I'm running Mifune, Mifune or whatever, however you say it. Um, on him, I am actually pretty decked out right now. Um, he is probably he's my strongest card, and as you can see, he's at 39,000 HP and at 15,000 attack. Um, the reason I run this is because I don't want him to die. He is the one card that does damage. Like with the comp that I'm running now, he does damage, and he's the only card that's going to do damage for me. And that's what I that's what I need him for. So I need him to survive. So I have level, you know, all level seven minimum on him. I have two level eight wounds on him, as you can see. Um, one of them is HP, and then the other one is the crit wound. I run one crit on him. This is this is all I'm gonna run. This is all I usually run, anyways, on my guys. And this is where all my crit wounds went to. That's why I don't have that many right now because I composed this one, and that's how I got the free HP one. Um, level seven accuracy because I do not want him to miss. And then I have two level seven thunder runes because. As you see, if you somebody has a level 7 armor rune and you have only one level 7 sender rune, you see how they basically, they're made to just negate each other. So automatically the sender doesn't help. So you have the extra one to be able to do even more damage past the defense, the natural defense that the card has with their equipment. Um, so that's why, that's really why you want to run two sender runes on anybody that attacks. So even if you look at my Shikamaru, I run two level 6 Thunder Runes on him because I need him, I need his basic attack to be able to do something, you know, at least do something. And I run the armor on him because I want, don't want him to die either. He actually helps out because it, the combination here that I went for is, you know, Shikamaru, you know, amplifies the damage taken to a card. So that way my Mifun can actually go ahead and one shot somebody. That's how I have it set up. Um, Let's see, what else was I going to go over? So, Mifune, um, any attacking style ninja, what I've noticed a lot of the attacking style ninjas, they all have their equipment as the attacking one will give you Sunder, which is also helps because I'm running a lot of Sunder on him. And then the crit from the, um, the HP equipment, which actually helps out. So I really, you know, it helps. That's why I at least have one crit rune on him. And that's all you really need. One crit rune should be fine. Some people run double crit rune. I've seen triple crit rune, but I really... It's a numbers game with it. If somebody has durability, it's still a hit or miss. And actually, that's why I got really annoyed with it. And I feel like it's... I don't know. I should have rather made a level 8 armor rune instead of a level 8 crit rune. But, you know, that's kind of how I decided to build it. Um, his, his, uh, his defense equipment actually gives him dodge, and that's why... I would, I would like to run two dodge runes on him, but I really don't want to get rid of durability because, like I said, durability is really nice and it's something that you really need on on people because you don't want somebody else's Mifune, you know, critting on your Mifune. That's, it's kind of really annoying when somebody crits on you and you're like, God, like, my card's dead now. Which, of course, that's why we run Sage Cobble too, so that way they can get revived. But, yeah, so you, you need at least one... I say to have an overall good team composition and everybody running, you know, you need at least one durability rule on everybody just to be able to deal with the crit because there are some people, like even in my server, there's one guy that just runs a lot of crit and so that's the one reason that he can beat me is because since I run no crit on my tailed beast, on my tailed beast cry, as you see right here I'm running armor dodge accuracy right now. Um, something else, Pepper, like right now, if you notice, since I don't have any crit runes, if I actually switch one of these to crit, which probably would be the dodge or the armor, either one, if I switch it to crit, my power goes up significantly because I'm missing a lot of crit in my runes. Um, so that's one of those things to take, you know, to take heed of or to take word of, you know. Um, you can build your runes however you want to and then just, you know, amplify it with your battle cry. So armor... I like armor because it, you know, it counter negates every since everybody has the ninth, you know, the nine tails. It's always gonna run thunder, right? So I have that armor that helps basically make sure that my armor wounds don't get negated just by that one battle cry. Um, and then dodge, I just like dodge right now. I'm seeing a lot of dodge because as you notice, everybody's only gonna put one accuracy rune on. And that's why I have the extra accuracy on because sometimes, like, if I take this accuracy rune off, 
I mean, at the accuracy part of my cry off and give it something else. I mean, I might be a little stronger, but I've noticed that I miss a lot. And it's just, I guess, one level six rune and one level seven rune just like isn't enough for your, for your guys. You really should have two, I guess. But that's why I really like. I'm really favoring accuracy. And if you notice, everybody that's up, you know, like everybody that's, you know, that's usually like number one in every server. You notice that everybody runs accuracy in their battle cry. It just helps a lot. So that you're just missing really sucks, you know. Like you don't want your Itachi or your Mifune or your um, your Kakashi for the guys that haven't spent the money for a reincarnated Itachi. Um, <clears throat> you don't want you don't want them missing. It's kind of annoying. Um, and then somebody in my village asked me, should they have their battle cry defense or should they have their battle cry armor? So like I said, it's one of those situational things where if you don't have really good armor runes or if you don't have any armor runes running in your comp, it doesn't matter like where you're at, what your power is. If you're just missing like some armor runes, then go ahead and put armor on your battle cry. That way you don't have to put the armor runes because you already see 453. That's about a, that's more than a level five armor rune. So that's actually really good. Um, let's say if you have a lot of, you know, like I said, like if you have um, a lot of, if you want to dump money into, like us, if you don't want to put a lot of durability into your guys, durability is also a good battle cry to pick up because, you know, like I said, it negates people's crit chance and um, you you really want that and that way you can just maybe get like a level 3 like durability for the meantime and then go ahead and amplify that with your battle cry and you'll actually be good for a little bit. And that way, um, so, because I never actually, like, if you guys notice, um, well, I don't think anybody ever, like, goes through my, my battles or whatever when they, when they challenge me, but my, my cries are forever changing. I change them every week. Like, this is what I run, so that way I can at least have a shot, you know, stay number one in challenge. But when I do the deity, when I do the, the deity challenge, which is why I'm saving this right here. This is what I'm going to switch it to. Defense, armor, armor. Because this is what I need to be able to be Kaguya. Without that Gara the Guardian card. Because there's only three of us that have beat the Deity Challenge. And I'm the only one that's done it without the Gara the Guardian card. Because that card is actually pretty OP. If I remember correctly, let's go back to equipment. He benefits a lot from armor. Because I think he has double armor. And let's see. Where are you? Because I have him here um which you know i never worked on his equipment because i really don't plan on using him at all um yeah so see he gets bonus armor and bonus armor so he is one of those guys that you if you dump two armor wounds into him nobody's like really gonna kill him anytime soon especially if he has one healer behind him like kabuto and uh he will be really really hard to kill um so that's why so that's why he's able to pass it's, it's easy to pass a deity challenge with him because he absorbs not only does his active absorb you know an attack but then for going up against kaguya kaguya if you don't have at least level like six or seven armor runes she's doing like thirty-five thousand damage and then she'll crit for seventy thousand damage and i remember the first time i went up against her and that's what happened so that's why i like you know at least have the level seven or i move my runes around also when i go up against her and um, I put my Hagoromo in front, but that's kind of something that I wanted to go over. I'll probably do another video. I'll explain my rooms maybe uh, this coming weekend if I do the, di the deity challenge again. I will go ahead and uh, do a video explaining how I move my runes around and the best setup. So that way uh, some of you out there may be struggling to get past stage two, you'll be able to do it. Um, and yeah, maybe I'll do a more more in-depth video next time but if you guys have anything you guys want to ask let me know because i noticed there's not a lot of people doing these kinds of videos and there's a lot of people that have a lot of questions the only problem is trying to explain this just through text like through your village thing is really really hard to do so because you can only type so much and you know sometimes you're just busy so yeah let me know